Okay, this is a new video on the how to do CloudWord to do new CloudWord. So, this is the old setup. So what you want to do to begin with is you press your funny little E. I don't know if you can see that. It's right there. Press that funny little E on the keyboard. Then it will take you to this screen. And you want to do a factory reset. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Click OK. I'm going to pause this. Okay, so it's done its factory reset. And once you give it a few seconds after it's done the reset, you will get this screen. This is called the first run wizard. So here we want to go. You can see I got highlighted the words next. So we don't want to do that. This is your Wi Fi manager. This is the set it up for your, um, your Wi Fi settings. Um, you just go in here and you find whatever uh, whatever Wi-Fi your is your name is right. Mine's Trunko Gus. Anyways, I have mine hardwired, so I'm gonna skip this step. But you go ahead and you do that. You go in there, click on it, and then enter your encryption key, which is your Wi-Fi password, and click done. Once you uh, once you're done. I'll hit cancel. I'll hit next. Check for updates. Always, always check for updates. Uh, says, oh, we have an image update. So we'll go ahead and download that. I'm just going to pause this again. So I've done the image update. Now it's just, it's going to reboot itself automatically in 14 seconds. You can see here now it's rebooting. We'll just give a couple seconds here. It's always important to uh, to make sure you check for that update. If you're not on the same uh, version of uh, same version image version I'm on or firmware version, then you tend to have problems. I'm gonna pause this while. It's okay. So the box is rebooted. We're back at the uh, the first setup wizard, first time setup wizard. Well, we're going to hit next. You have to go back into here, quite possibly. Double check, make sure you're connected to your Wi-Fi. Hit next. Just check for updates. It's always good. And we know it's good. Hit next. Next. Don't worry about that. Next, next, hit next again, install CloudWord. So let's go ahead. So you can see it's on general right now. So we click it over to the right, enter your CloudWord. I want to pause. Okay, so you can see it's, I've entered the CloudWord. It does change from time to time. Hopefully this will be the last one for a while. Just let it do its thing. You can see it's going pretty fast, but I'm on a high speed uh, of the high speed internet with Ethernet. So we'll just pause this. You know, so you can see it's uh, it's installed the CloudWord. So now it's asking us if we want to restart. We want to click yes. Just give it a sec here. Now it's rebooting the box. And as you can see, now we have the build back. So, but if you look carefully there, oh, that's the auto cleaner. That's just clearing up some miscellaneous files that you don't need. Get some uh, thumbnails and stuff like that. They automatically rebuild themselves. So you can see the time is off. It says it's 5.22 p.m. It's now 5.22 p.m. So you want to go to system you can see it's right there between favorites and power and you want to highlight it and then you click on it we want to go to interface you want to go to regional see on the left hand side there 
click on that. Well, you don't have to click on it. It's highlighted. Press it over to the right. Time zone country says Canada. That's good. Time zone says America St. John's. We don't want that. So click on that. You go down to you see if you're in Cal if you're in Calgary like me, you want to go to American America Edmonton. If you're somewhere else like Regina, you want to go to Regina, maybe Swift Current. That's fine. You just want to pick the the area that's on the same time zone as you are. So we'll click on that, and you can see now it's changed it to um, my local time. Another thing is, as you can see, it's it's the picture is fitting my screen perfectly, but if it's not, you can go into um, oops, sorry. We'll go to player. I I just went up. Um, let's see if it's here or not. Check all these settings. I'm gonna pause this while I find. You need to change the display. It's not. You find if you find the uh, the time and like stuff at the very top of the screen or the very bottom of the screen, it's not fitting in there. You want to go to this screen, which is under System. When you click on System, you'll see these icons. You want to click on System. You see we want to highlight Display. You want to go over to the right. And we want to click on video calibration. And then you want to line up those bars. If you look in the top left hand corner there, oops, you'll see the uh, little arrows. So you just gotta adjust them with the uh, just a little bit off. So you just use the arrow keys on your uh, on your remote or on your keypad. Once you have it lined up, press the OK. Um, now you see it's in the uh, the bottom right hand corner so just adjust it so that, that it's all good there press OK this is for um, subtitle positioning to move that up or down that's all good that looks all good so we'll just click OK and then you just hit your escaper back button to get out of here and uh, that's it any problems always call me I should also mention uh, there's your power obviously uh, if you ever saved a favorite sometimes it shows up here sometimes the add-ons have their own favorite section uh, you'll have to just take a look there's some new ones in here like Empty Rising Genesis uh, Neptune seems to be not too bad um, oh, I forgot one. Crap. Also, there's video add-ons. That's sort of the master list for all for all the add-ons I have. That's it.